Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more of the Thaumaturge. So I think we said that we would go and uh, have a look at where Father died and see if we can catch any clues there as to what may have happened to his black grimoire. Now this is the area that's got the train station, hasn't it? So maybe we could also try and get the train station viewpoint thing that's in our journal. I don't really get the viewpoint stuff, but... One of the reviews was saying that you do kind of need to do all those little side objectives in order to get get enough XP to level up all the salutors to a decent level. So as we're here anyway, it probably makes sense to do that. Uh, where's the train station? There it is. Loads of points of interest. Eek. Okay. Well, that's the hotel. Um, so if I go to the journal... Uh... What time of day is it? It seems like it's night time. Night. I wonder where the, uh... The, the, the divination thing's at. I'm not sure. That's photography. Where's the divination one? I saw it a minute ago, this one. Alright, anyway, I want to do... Find the view. Let's do this one first. <clears throat> so we kind of want to go behind us and, and round, I guess. Let's go this way. Now we, there are points of interest here. We should probably try and do them. What's this one? Buy a donut. I think we could probably manage that. One bite is enough to make me feel like I'm eight years old again. I feel like Warsaw Donuts, the only sweet thing that happened to me in life. It's a bit sad. That young Victor eating a donut. Um, there's one just up here. Let, let, let's just go and grab this one. It's all XP in it. What's this thing? Admire the view. Okay. Sure. Seems nice enough. Okay, we've got, we got a level up for that. Where is this thing? Is that the point of interest? No, the point of interest is further up. Ah, it's good. Okay, so it's going to be another photo thing. Some sort of monument. Green square. Okay, yeah, green square. We just were in, annoyingly. Oh well. the way the steering works with Waz, it's quite hard to sort of keep Victor on the straight and narrow with some some of the camera alignments. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna go down to this point of interest. I can't I can't remember what the picture looked like, so it's gonna have to this this is probably it though, isn't it? Looks like it. Okay, well there was a there was a viewpoint down here, so I mean a point of interest. It's like a wharf of some kind. Wow, we're steaming through the thaumaturgy points at the moment. That's good. Uh, I forgot what I'm here to do. Just looking at points of interest. Oh, we're going to look at where dear old dad popped his clogs. So, um, yes say on the map where it is doesn't particularly back up this way though there did seem to be quite a lot of brickwork in the road and stuff up here so I'm assuming it's near oh maybe not oh what's this Note, remember, lessons at Andrzejewicz's Andres move to six. Uh, okay. A hastily written note that must have fallen out of a notebook. Not quite sure what that's in relation to yet. Yeah, it's got to be over here, isn't it? Ah, okay. 
glasses. Glasses with a bent frame and broken lens. This is Stanislav's, that's our dad's. Before his last breath left him, father's gaze wandered, searching for the source of his end. He did not close his eyes. He passed away with his eyes wide open, hurling thunderbolts from his eyes towards his nemesis. Anger clung to the crooked frame, not grief, sadness or fear, also natural in a moment of danger. Anger at the fact that death came too soon. It announced itself, but did not ask about any unfinished business. Shoe, also Stanislav's. The owner of the shoe was a haughty soul who feared nothing, for whom death was an intruder destroying the, the order of the universe. He had his feet firmly on the ground, and even when death stared him in the eye, he did not give in to the instinct to flee. Yes, this shoe belonged to my father. What else we got? Damaged pillar, broken in half. Trace unknown. Wild fury radiated from here, nestled in the body. This blow to the pillar collapsed the entire building. A punch born of a powerful fist, carrying colossal amounts of strength. Chaos. Only chaos can be felt here, devoid of any composed thought, intention. What breaks through to the surface of this disorder is destruction, as if designed in the guts of what wrought it. Mm. This place carries the memory of my father. What is left of him here completes his image as a tenacious man with a hard heart. Interestingly, he expected death, although it came sooner than he expected, which clearly upset him. And the death that came for him was a strong, uncompromising fury. Am I a magician or what? Yeah, okay. Well, Upir has got something to indicate. I was going to say save. He doesn't really talk, does he, Upir? Death did not catch my father by surprise. It seems as if he had been expecting it, just not at that moment. He was practically annoyed about it. There was something he had wanted to finish. And this building, it couldn't have just fallen down like that right as he was going by. Hey, Suski! What? Chicken butt. Chicken butt? Rude. Oh, well, but it's see, he was our childhood friend, wasn't he? We took his book. Well done. All right, let's wake the asshole up. Wakey, wakey. What? What's? Well, come on, Sleeping Beauty. I haven't got all day. Now, let me get a good look at you. You look rough, fancy boy. This isn't what I was expecting. Who is he? What's the meaning of this? Who are you? A shooting star am I. For a moment, flickering, granting hope. Holding fearful humanity briefly by the throat before suddenly vanishing. Hold on. About it. Someday, this poetry will be the end of me. Long time no see, Shursky. Uh, why did you kidnap me? What kind of a sick idea is this? Kidnapping me? It's a joke! You don't find it funny? No. What does it feel like to have your life depend on me? Doesn't feel good. Not the best. Listen, I understand you hold some resentment within yourself over what happened, but I can't change the past. Well, yes, but shit. You told me to wait for help and instead the boys in blue showed up and you washed your hands of it and left my pop to rot in prison. At least admit that you acted like a dick. Uh, it's probably not like that. It's not like that. I didn't mean to hang you out to dry. I was going to get help, but... What? Didn't they have ink in France? The time for explanations was 15 years ago. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You're just like your father. Talk about his death. My father's karma came back to bite him. A horrible death in return for the kind of man he was. I'm sure you heard. 
Well, admittedly, nothing's but a spring in my step in a long while, like hearing that Shulsky met his end as sludge on the sidewalk. They say the devil doesn't take the wicked, but for your old man, he made an exception. Now that he's dead, let's put the past behind us. There'd be no reason to talk if you hadn't pinched Papa's gaff back then. Victor, it kills me that we pulled the trigger together. Together! You did? Where's that rat? What the fuck? Boss, it's the Cossacks again. Come here, coward! Looks like you've got a chance for redemption. Let's show these dickheads you don't mess with the shivs. Hmm. Guess we're in a gang now. <laughs> I'll take a look around. All right, okay. Interesting. I didn't expect it to end up here, but inventory of debts. Uh, lots of names. Duck and manure. Oh, not literally a whack whack duck. They were going to push his face into manure, I guess. Knock one of his teeth out if he doesn't apologize in writing. Uh, break a finger for every ten rubles owned. Okay, so they're kind of loan sharks and debt collectors then by the sounds of it. Or at least that's part of what they do. This is to do with Dad's death. I don't know if we've actually read this, though. Um, tragedy on Master Skowska Street. Several people have died in a building collapse, including a respected Warsaw entrepreneur, Stanislav Shulski. No one seems to know the cause of the accident. Defective construction of the building or a deliberate attack? All we know is it could not have been foreseen. Shock and awe. The tenement house was inhabited by four families. Three of them are now in mourning after losing their loved ones. The Bogoshlavskis lost their children, Mr. and Mrs. Gradechsky lost their lives, and Branisiek Konskovolsky, oh. the owner of the, a pram and linen factory warehouse, perished in the collapse. The case is being investigated by the police, while residents are advised caution when walking on city streets. Is there anything else to see here? I don't feel like there is, so let's, uh, let's head on in. You guys again. You shitheads better have a good excuse, because I was right in the middle of an incredibly important meeting. It was fate that decided. We flipped a coin, and it turns out that today, we're practicing our boxing on you. Some... Oh, hello. I know you. You're... I can't remember now. Fucked up. Interesting. But today, you'll regret it. Today, I've got the Demon Master on my side. Show these cretins, Victor. Okay, what do we got? Uh, attack with Bukovach, that's fine. Up here. And this guy doesn't have one of those traits, interestingly. Uh... Yeah, maybe we'll do a... Oh, hang on. Can I do my bonuses? Because I keep forgetting to do this. Uh, which is the one that gives a chance of... Um, chance of interrupting the enemy's action. It's got to be one of these. I, I can't remember which one it was now. I, I got to sort of let's un unequip everything, and then we'll try and find it. Oh, that's interesting. Fifty percent chance. So we we're doing a lot of this uh, old wound. So maybe we should uh, stick that on there. What else have we got here? Six percent chance of slowing up. I put that on the quick one. 
Okay, got some adrenaline rush. Increases inflicted damage by 50%. That's got to be pretty good. Um, let me stick that on there. Sanitor's next action will be one round faster. Yeah, stick that on there, maybe. Increases damage taken by 50%. Uh, stick that on there, I suppose. Damage of Salutor's next attack. I think this is the one I had on it before, the double damage thing. Yeah, I'll see that on there. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Okay. Let's start the fight. So what was I going to do? Um, maybe do the focus thing on this guy, or we could do it on this guy. Immune to gaining negative states. But I don't think losing focus counts as that. So I might not even attack with, with him. Remove focus. And I'm going to remove focus. And that should kind of break him. So he loses two. Oh. I thought I put a... I don't know. I thought I had a thing that did double... Double that. Okay. Um, up here, if you want to do that. And then... Uh, hmm. I might put the suffering on this guy. Okay, so he can be broken now like this. Uh, so let's do that. And that restores health too, so I think I'll do that too. Nice. It's just in time for us to take a big smack to the face. Um, this guy doesn't have a trait. We haven't attacked him yet, so I don't really care about the health thing. Um, Let's switch to Book of Arch. I'm going to attack this guy. Yeah, let's whack some suffering on him. We're starting to take quite a lot of damage, which is worrying. Um, what's this we can do? Agony. The Sunnyshore's next action will be one round faster. Additionally, cast Suffering. Yeah, let's do that. And Bukovach. Yeah, let's put this on. So he's dead, isn't he? Um, so I might get Upir. Oh, I can't switch to Upir. This guy. Yeah, a fifty percent chance of interrupting his attack, so I think it's worth trying. So he's got the healing thing. We could put... Yeah, let's do that. And I'm going to switch to up here. And we're going to put on... This. Here, maybe you could heal me, dude. Let's do a quick attack. 
No, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> I think we recover all our health between round between fights, so that's not too bad. <laughs> you never let me down. This is the best way to start an evening at Nyejit's bar. If we're to have fun, let's do it right. A round for everyone. <laughs> I love how like attacks with swords and guns and demons are like non-fatal in this world. <laughs> I don't think we ever kill anyone. I think they're always knocked out. Here, Polish, pure, the mother of all libations. Enjoy it. Who knows what piss you've been drinking abroad. So are we quits? I helped you out. Now, can we forget all that ancient history? Don't be so sly, Victor. We're not squared up yet. That burns nicely. My knuckles are itching. Let's go somewhere and pick a fight. Good riddance. Well, what do you say, Victor? Uh... Yeah, let's try and ignore the past. Let's just tell you, tell you about the Salutor. It seems to me there's work for me to do at your bar. No shit. I'll give you a hand. Not like that. Thaumaturgical work. It seems to me there's a Salutor here. What the fuck? Who brought a demon into my joint? I'll give him... Although, hang on now. A demon is a good publicity. Hey, everybody! From this day forth, the London bar will be known as The Demon's Den! Go and tell everybody that here is the only place you can do shots in the devil's company. Listen, you keep on thinking about how you can develop your business, and I'm going to take a look around and come right back. Go! I'm going to wet my whistle and see how you do your hocus pocus. If you need something, I'm here, and I'll give you a hand. Cool. Okay. Well, yeah, we're definitely going to do this, because I I'm, I need salutors at this point in order to be able to investigate everything. Bullet hole. Uh, my first expectation is always to find fear, doubt, or anger behind a bullet. After all, who shoots just like that, treating it as some sort of game? Exactly this kind of person who fired this bullet. Lightheartedly, seeing the weapon only as a tool of enjoyment. I guess probably those Cossacks. <laughs> Victor, what it rhymes with dung. What's this? Menu. Uh, this is the same as the other one, is it not? The one we saw in the station in the third episode? Second episode? Scott Joplin. The only Scott Joplin I know is the entertainer. On the labour movement, eh, well, I don't want to necessarily read all that out loud. It's the exit. Ooh, something here. Hole, with traces of knife throwing. Drops of blood seeped into the wood, preserving the memory of a severed human ear. A hand that threw the knife at a clear target. An ear cut off in a frenzy with a smile by a mind deaf to any afterthought. Individual splinters still remember the cold steel of the blade, which was guided by a heart marked by competitiveness. It had no precision, only stupidity fueled by the desire to win. Reckless man. Dirty rag. The cloth is stained with fresh blood, the ultimate blood, that which flows from a fatal wound. Carelessly put away, it is the last reminder of a recent brawl with a tragic ending. Hang up here. Definitely something up there. Broken window. Fragments of human tissue can still be found nearby. Some man flew through this window, leaving behind the memory of his bleeding body. Someone grabbed him by the tails and pushed him without much force or precision, rather spurred by adrenaline. It's a rough bar, is what they're saying. To the Eyes poem. Uh, okay, I'm going to read that out loud. Funny photo. Uh, so that's Victor and Obritzi, I think. Here we were finding it like ourselves, laughing school kids, constantly in search of a new brawl. Nice of Obritzi to keep it. 
That wasn't too hard. Knife. A sturdy hunting knife engraved with the initials A.N. Carries the memory of poetry being recited in different situations, whether while picking dirt from under one's nails or mutilating someone's face. Bloodstained blade must be a good source of inspiration. From the wooden, wooden inlaid handle protrudes a long, sharp pommel that has tasted blood and stripped people of small body parts more than once. The knife is a bloodthirsty beast that demands to be fed. Trace certain. Oboditsi. The London Bar couldn't belong to anyone else, as it perfectly represents Oboditsi's nature. The parties here often get out of control and end badly, or even tragically, for those involved. This place smells of blood, stupidity and foolhardiness, all soaked in alcohol. So it seems like our dear old friend has a, has a demon attached, I think. Vodka, revelry, extreme opinions, violence. Sounds like Russia. That giant bird must enjoy it, and I'm sure it also stirs up the chaos. Victor, time for penalty drinks. Feathers, a beak, those eyes. Who are you? I can't focus. Don't make me come over there! Do I know someone with mood swings, a tendency for bravado, and a weakness for booze? Mm -hmm. uh, it says find out more about him. Is, do we do that by talking to him, do you think? I guess so. Have you nosed around my humble little hole in the wall? What's the word? Uh, let's ask about the bar first of all. Well, well. How did you get your hands on all this? I worked my ass off for years. I found myself in shitty positions. Sometimes I had to make people disappear. Pop wouldn't have been proud of me. Maybe it's a good thing he didn't live to see it. But then I'd have to kill you. Ask him what holds, what's holding him back. What's stopping you? You had me tied up in the chair. Well, I sure did. Maybe the thought even crossed my mind. But I decided to give you a chance. Witness the kindness within my heart. Tell me, what else is going on? Uh, what's going on with the Cossacks? Tell me something more about these Cossacks. They roam around different bars picking fights as soon as they get leave from the Citadel. Sometimes we pummel each other, and things continue as usual. Okay, let's share our observations. I've had a look around, and something's caught my attention. I think they might have something to do with the Saluta. Well then, shoot! I think we probably get to ask about everything. A bucket of dirty water and a blood-soaked rag. Whose blood is this? As if I remember everybody who's bled on the floor here. Every day we've got to clean up after somebody. Is that everything, or have you found anything else? Did anybody die from this bullet that got stuck in the post? Bullets fly every which way here. That's the atmosphere. Was someone killed? Probably, but that's not very unusual. Look how helpful I am. Keep going. Who smashed your window? How long it's been? Uh, two days, I think. This one Russian bigwig was really fucking irritating me, so I politely asked him to leave. What else can I help you with? Tell me. Uh, I'm at your service. You like to go wild here, huh? Are you often the one who gets the old crazy ball rolling? You know I used to have a puppy. This little fluff ball was hanging out under the bar. I have a heart, Victor. I have a big heart. Not like those morons over there. To Cossacks, a game without a corpse is no game at all. For me, knocking out teeth, breaking hands, I'll take it. A stiff spoils the mood a bit. That's my opinion. Uh... Okay, talk, talk about the puppy. What happened to the puppy? He was called Romeo. Uh, he fell in love. One day he packed his bags and uh, ran off with that bitch. Julia? I'm sure he uh, <laughs> started a family. He's raising his puppies and reminiscing. Yeah. My brave little guy. <laughs> uh, 
but what were we talking about? You get a lot of stiffs here then? Where my corpse here lieth down. Something, something looketh around. What do you call a lot? Th three a month on average, I'd say. Danis, that Cossack with a dick where his head should be, pulled out his revolver one day and wanted to play Russian roulette. Only with his revolver. But fuck it. I'm not handing my head over so easily to a butcher like that. Well, then I'll ask you. Is he an idiot or what? I have to gather my thoughts. Go ahead. Go ahead. I have to gather myself a little too. Lelek. What the hell did you say, Victor? You're out of your goddamn mind. The Salutor's name's Lelek. Well, yes, the beak, the feathers, the trill. He loves the smell of death, and he enjoys risk and foolishness, which he also fuels. So let's go get Lelek. Yeah, come on. Where about it is, Lelek could be as well. Maybe his flaw is speaking for him. Whoever's with us is with us, and whoever's against us, fuck him. Come on, I'll show you places even the philosophers never dreamed of. Maybe your demon will be drinking vodka somewhere there, too. Okay. What are we doing? We're following him. Take I'm a out deep looking for breath. trouble. That's the smell of Warsaw nightlife. Smell it, Victor. Relish it. A bouquet of sweat, shit, and puke. And piss. Thanks. Come on. You'll mm. see the true face of Abauritz and Nijitz. And maybe you'll even find what you're looking for here. Who was this? Broken bottle with blood splashed nearby. Splattered nearby. The hand that used the bottle as a weapon was driven by deliberate malice and the desire to have fun. There is no aggression here or desire to cause harm, just unadulterated stupidity. One hair, another, fresh blood covers them. This bottle's hit someone's head. First it was emptied in the blink of an eye, and as soon as the opportunity arose, it was smashed on someone as an exquisite joke. This is another the reckless manner. So it could be Danis. Rather than Oburitsi. Ooh, we've got stuff here. Notebook. Inside it states that it's the property of Aburitsi Konstanzus Niedzic. This notebook is a vessel into which inspiration is poured, kept close to the heart, serving as its expression. The nib has pierced to the paper in some places. So much ex excitation was in the poet's hand. A record of the pure passion that fills the owner. The pages of the notebook are inscribed from top to bottom. Some have been torn out, while others bear the marks of many erasures. Words, 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 including extremely flowery metaphors, revealing the poet's sensitive soul. Let's have an absinthe. After downing the last glass, I saw a thick fog gather at my table, and from it emerged a beautiful woman clothed only in chains made of pearls and precious stones. I woke up almost instantly, I think, cradling a beautiful, almost naked broom in my arms. <laughs> That's the proper old uh, 19th century absinthe as well, not the sort of watered down stuff we get today. So it was supposed to have wormwood in it, and I think it was legendary for making people go mad. I think the stuff they sell these days doesn't have that. Um, I have drunk it. And I don't think I went mad, but then how would I know? <laughs> Bloodstains on the table. This is Oberitzi. What initially appeared to be just a bloodstain is in fact a poem. Uh, one only has to peer deeper into what remains of it for one's attention to be drawn to the individual. Smudged words from which it is no longer possible to extract any meaning. Behind the Mask of Barbarism The mask of a ruthless gangster conceals a truly sensitive soul. Torn between conflicting feelings, he balances on a thin line between beauty and ugliness, tenderness and violence. Confronting him with his inner chaos might reveal his flaw. Maybe it is Oberitzi then. Uh, yeah, I think all that remains is to talk to him, I guess. Welcome to my world. Meaning what? That they've got a guy tied up in the back here too, and they're about to threaten to drown him in the Vistula? I see the positive mood of the neighborhood has infected you. Wonderful. But you guessed wrong, friend. 
here? Well, magic happens here. Thought is transformed into word to penetrate the material and infuse the universe with tenderness. All right, let's drink, shall we? Okay. A double barrel each, please. People come here to tickle their palates with exquisite libations. Let's do a milk of 83. You're not messing around. After years of begging and eating scraps off aristocratic tables, I'm not messing around. You come here to get some fresh air away from the underworld? I come here so I don't forget who I am. A poet. Okay, we've got the required knowledge to talk about that, but let's, um, let's start with the other stuff. You've always had a silver tongue. <laughs> don't I know it? Add to that a despicable past, and you've got all the ingredients for a poet. Now, why are we sitting here instead of at your bar? My lads, bless them. Set me up a poetry reading once, but they're simple folk. They don't understand this. Poesy. They laughed when they should have cried. Cried when their hearts should have flooded with anger. I don't hold it against them. My bar trades on its reputation as a dive. That's how you make the most money. Okay, what's going on with him? So what's actually been going on with you over the last 15 years? My father ended up behind bars. And as for me, the streets took me in, taught me life. I roamed around, got odd jobs. And when I was hard up, I went begging. I've got a tough skin on me, Victor. But the embers of poetry still smolder in my heart. Well, in time, I gained a new family. My shivs. We'll keep going on this other stuff about him. We were him. supposed to go to high school together, maybe to university after that. Everything would have gone differently if only... We did the world a favor by fucking over that loan shark. One way or the other, Pop's deaths would have landed me on the streets. If I hadn't told you about it, you wouldn't have hit on your brilliant idea. I'll sort him out with my salader, you kept saying. <laughs> you were too unskilled at that magic business of yours, eh? My upper had only just come to me. I didn't know anything about being a thaumaturge. Yeah, and I'm sure you wanted to impress your daddy. I trusted my father to help us, but he only told me not to interfere. He swore he'd sort it out. All right, there's no need to waste your damn breath. He's gone, and we're here. What about his plans? What is your plan? Would you rather the name Nyejits make people talk about the king of the underworld, or a great poet? The poetic king of the underworld. Anyway, they already say that. The Shivs think of me as a bard, and the competition says so too. And since I've got them all by short hairs, they respect me, even though they can't string two proper sentences together. I've got a gift, Victor. I can't complain about a lack of talent. All right, let's talk about Lelek. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I think Lelek is attached to you. A demon following me around? Bullshit. There are a lot of indications. Your personality, the things you do, and stuff like that. I'd rather not have anyone sharing my head with me. Can you do something about it? Let's try to discern his flaw. I see it like this. You've always had some seed of madness inside you, but I don't think you've ever been... So fucked up. Beg pardon? I found your poem. Did you write it in your own blood or that of one of your victims? Victims? The hell are you talking about? Of course it was mine. I sliced my veins open for art. That's how committed I am. More like desperate. 
No true poet needs to resort to gimmicks. He just needs ink, and the world will hear him. Shit. One more word, and I'll forget about our friendship. There's nothing to forget. Our friendship is just a figment of your sick imagination. Stab me in the heart. It'll hurt less. I know now that you're not the one Lelic is following. You see? Even the devil can't touch me. He's come knocking a few times, but we've never managed to strike a deal. And you'd surely be the perfect candidate for him, but only seemingly. So what? Should we continue our search? Oh, Victor, lad, how that we tickles me. Come on, of course we're continuing. We have to find that little brat of yours. Okay, I kind of thought it was going to be him. <laughs> he may be older, but he's certainly not more mature. The Chamberlain of Chaos, the Minister of Warsaw's Vagary, and the Messenger of Cirrhosis of the Liver. With every sip of vodka, our passion grows, and the city becomes much more colourful, and it belongs to us. Okay, we're still following Obuoritsi. Damaged street lamp has traces of muddied soles on it. Seems that someone's attempted to climb it. Timur Selim. What have these guys got to say? Wah, if you give up, you piece of shit. Do you see what I see? I see two morons wrestling with a lamppost. How are you fellas doing? Who's winning? It's a colossus looking down its nose, arrogant piece of... I swear it called us sons of bitches. Well, that would piss anyone off. Sanitor's presence is so strong here, it wouldn't take much to lose one's head. Some people stop distinguishing reality from imagination and see danger in, even in inanimate objects. Lanterns seem to be extremely dangerous enemies. Uh... Take the lamppost side. As I look at it and then at you, I've got to admit the lamppost is right. That what? That you're a pair of sons of bitches, that's what. You're taking the enemy's side? Suit yourself. We're not giving in. <laughs> Same as before, then. Uh, Upir Borkovac makes you immune to negative status, restores four health. Okay, I think we should start the fight. So, this dude, um. Yeah, let's get rid of his healing trait, I think. Oh. No. Um, can I go back? Yeah. Um. We've got a big one. And up here... Uh, I want him to go before me, really, so we'll do that one. Finisher potentially. So, how much is up here doing? Probably not enough. Sat him down. No, but he's very low. Um, what's this one? 
I don't really need that. I can do this, though. Up here. What is our, what's our friend doing? Who's he attacking? I'm not sure. Oh, he's attacking him. Uh, which is... F uh, no, we want to probably knock him out first. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a healing stab on him. Seven. Not dead. Bonk. Well, now this is a productive night. The more brawling, the better. <laughs> Please visit us again. Time to keep an eye out for Dennis. He was injured in the fight with the Colossus and got lost. I think. Uh, maybe the Ataman ended up at the Lockstock. Where? The lock, stock, and barrel. This Ruski bar up the stairs here. Competition. <laughs> the night's still young. There's excitement ahead. Let's follow them. Since I haven't yet found Lelik, that could be just where he is. Could be. Something here as well. Cossack's hat. Reckless man. This is no ordinary hat. It is a vessel for memories of true friendship and a comfort zone in which you can be yourself. Now soiled, used to frantically staunch blood that gushed from a wound born of thoughtlessness. Had uh, the name Pasha sewn in. Lelek's influence seems to be spreading across the district, pushing people to engage in stupidity and recklessness. This, coupled with alcohol, causes them to do even more stupid and dangerous things, leaving plenty of blood in their wake. In order to find the person with a flaw, I must visit other establishments in the area. Doing a quick scan of this major area before we go in. Uh, talk to the bouncer Private first. Party tonight, no riffraff. Cheers, Ivan, my friend. Mr. Nyejits, well, I've got clear instructions. Don't be silly. It's a beautiful night out. Rare when we see stars over Warsaw. But now look. One, two. If you count them all, you'll know the extent of my gratitude. Well, all right, go on in. I'm fond of you, Mr. Ndjejits. I'm just doing my job. You see? That's respect. Okay. Simple enough. This is what they call a private party? <laughs> what is this awake? Good thing we showed up. Double barrel for me. Actually, make that too. Okay. Um well, I mean I'm pretty sure I know who it is, uh, but we'll do other stuff. Shashka. An ornate Cossack sabre that belonged to Pasha. The steel shines and the handle is polished to a mirror sheen. People are not afforded as much love and care as this Shashka, which is cared for so painstakingly. There is something else here, a ritual in honour of the deceased repeated reverently. There's a kiss laid just above the former owner's engraving after each polishing. This reckless man. That's the one we're looking for, whoever this reckless man is. This is Danis. I'm pretty sure it's him, but why don't we try and find what other little clues we can before we go in. Letter to Danis. I hope you're well. It is difficult for me to write this letter, but I want to open my heart to you and not hide the truth. I have long sensed that your affection for me has faded. You no longer write as often as you used to, and I haven't seen you for almost a year. I don't want to remain in uncertainty any longer, so I'm forced to break off our engagement. 
Be well and think about me from time to time, but don't write to me anymore. Olga. P.S. I am dictating these words to Father Olkin. He wishes to convey that you are no longer welcome in the village, but you could at least visit your mother. Crumbled letter. Uh, the sender has informed him that she's through with him. The page knows the kaleidoscope of emotions flooding Danis's heart when he first read the words written here. Unbridled anger came first, eventually giving way to bitterness. Finally, suffering took hold, crowning the process of heartbreak. We can probably find more as well. Those are the two we fought outside. What's this? Pistol. This is also belonging, belonging to Dennis. Steel that's cold to the touch burns on the inside with a mixture of hope and fear. Hope that the cold of the metal pressed against one's temple will bring solace. Fear that though the heart will stop beating, the soul will continue to suffer. The barrel pressed against his own temple, his finger on the trigger, and chaos in his heart. To shoot or not to shoot? Already the pressure on the trigger is increasing. So little is needed for the bullet to pierce the skull, and yet the finger is withdrawn. The barrel moves away from the temple. He's not doing well, Danis lad, is he? Balalaika, this also belongs to Danis. The strings have absorbed the memory of the melodies played on the balalaika, and a one, and a one. The heaviness of the fingers plucking the strings reflects the wistfulness of the melody, and a two. The impish lightness is an expression of raunchy humour, and so it goes. Around and around. The soundboard is filled with longing and sad thoughts. They pour out and wander across the strings, regardless of the melodies played on them. No matter if the song is cheerful, good to dance to, or sorrowful, the memory stored in the instrument does not lie. Its head sees the world in shades of black. Conclusion time. Sower of Chaos. Unpredictable, reckless Danis, whose heart is filled with incomprehensible anger, hides the suffering, grief, and longing. Hides his suffering, grief, and longing. Torn by conflicting emotions, he sows chaos and falls into extremes. His behaviour stems from his broken heart, which has become his curse. It is he that Lelek has taken a fancy to. It is his flaw that I need to identify. Can't go upstairs, I don't think. Whoop, 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 whoop. Have a look around here. Yeah, let's talk to the beard. Danis doesn't think about what he's doing, and he doesn't care about the consequences, as if it's all in the name of fun. He couldn't cope with his broken heart, so he started tumbling further and further into the depths of chaos. I think Danis took the breakup with his fiancée really hard. Losing in love is driving him to irrational behavior. Time to figure out his flaw and catch Lelek. I wonder if he'll play a Russian roulette with me. Oh god. Alright. Well, we're gonna confront Dennis. Come on, don't make me back. I'll fix up your head for no extra fee. I'm in no hurry to go upstairs. I feel like a game. You up for one? Me? Forget it. I have gorgeous hands. Everyone says so. You're not gonna carve them up with that shank. What? You eavesdropping magician? This one has a star by it. Let's ask that. I found something that belongs to you. A letter. Is... Hand that over. If you read it, you'll regret it. It's private. Easy now, I just wanted to talk. We don't have anything to talk about. Leave me alone. Okay, well let's um let's do the Russian roulette thing. You're sitting there so quietly. How about a little game? You play Russian roulette here, lads? Or are you too soft? Ha! Think you're harder than me? I eat Russian roulette for breakfast. Let's play. Did someone say Russian roulette? Show us what a tough guy you are, pretty boy. Six chambers, one bullet. Ready to start? Wait, Victor. Let's play with mine. Uh, 
I wonder if he's rigged his. All right. Yours would do too. It would be more interesting that way. Does this remind you of anything? My turn. It was nice knowing you guys. And you, Victor. If fate so ordains, we'll speak in hell. Well, four more. Ah! We're starting round two. You like that feeling of blood rushing through your veins? Makes you feel alive, right? Shut your trap! What? You shit in your pants? Gods of chaos, watch over. That's the end. We know what's waiting in the cylinder. You brave enough to cross even that final boundary? Enough, gentlemen. We were kidding around. Danis, there's nothing in there. I didn't load it. You're lying, Yejits. You're all lying. You think I'm scared of death? The sight of me makes the Grim Reaper quake in his boots. Well, go ahead. Watch carefully. Is that lovely song for me? Don't stop. I'm enjoying listening. Here we go, another fight. What do we got? This guy appeared attack. That's fine. Let's uh, let's just start. Uh, this guy doesn't have very much focus, um, but he hasn't got very much health either, to be perfectly honest. Um, let's do this guy first. Um, actually, who is first? Mournful tones. Interrupts an enemy's planned action. Oh, okay, interesting. Might be worth getting in a quick attack or something before that kicks off. And ooh, beautiful. Maybe I'll go book back. To howl. I think the key to this is uh, acting before he has a chance to block. It, it doesn't say a 50% chance, but it's just going to, if we have an attack set up, he will interrupt it, which isn't great. Um, if we get another one of these on him, though, he should fall. And then Book of it. I might go back to up here. I might go in on this guy. And... More health points, the higher the damage. Let's see, I want to see if it will block Opia's attack. The, the, folk, the bird thing. Didn't seem to. This guy should be dead now. Oh, two health points. There's a chance he might die before he acts next, so let's go in on this guy still. Now, up here is about to attack him. Mm. I think I have to act before the bird. And this 
guy. Eight to nine, yeah, seems all right. Ah, they got more. Okay. Uh, up here. Bukovac. This guy's healing. She has very low focus, so maybe we should go on that. Do that, and up here does that. Do Ooh, yeah, that's gonna be a kill, isn't it? Up here, which one is yeah, attack with up here, so let's do this. Let's uh let's put a healing attack on him. So yeah, so Lupia's going to attack him. I might come up with a big one too. Uh, then we got this guy. What's his thing? So he needs Book of Atch to disable him. So why don't we? Just do a big, big, slow attack on him, I think. I think between the two, that's probably a kill. Is that it? Enough of losing. Rasputin will tame you. Talking about Dennis. Let's get to drinking. The night's still young. You don't understand. None of you. Leave me alone. Get your ass out of here, wizard. Follow Nejits to his joint. To the demon's den, you semi literate swine. Shut it, Selim. Or I'll find a loaded piece and shoot you dead. Give me a second to get my thoughts together. I have to. Um. I don't want to do the proud answer. Let's let him find solace in mourning. Let yourself feel the pain that's consuming you. You need it. Pasha. I'm sorry. I haven't mourned you. Danis, pull yourself together. Come on! No, Selim, I have to. You too as well. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't say anything. No words are necessary. Seems to me we should drink a toast to the dead. Danis, we are your brothers forever! Till the day we die! Come on, let's leave these scoundrels alone. We've got stuff to talk about. What a poetic experience. I can feel it in my bones. As if I were part of something grand, you know? You carry an unloaded revolver? Victor's not looking very well. Anybody can pull a trigger. I use it to smash heads. And balls. But tell me, did you catch the little sprat? Yeah, I did. But it wasn't easy. 
It still isn't. Was it worth it? I don't know. At least now it won't be Lelek deciding Danis' fate. And that's always a good thing. Anything that lets you sleep at night, friend. Forget sleep. Now I need hypnosis. Thanks for today, about it. Oh no, hold on now. The night will end when I say so. Come here. Let's go willingly. What do I care? Lead the way. Well, yeah, I get that. At the end of the day, what heals the body and soul better than a double vodka, eh? <laughs> Poor. To us, to you, to vodka. Show her your demon, Victor. <laughs> Just not on my shoes. <laughs> Victor, Victor, boy. Maybe you aren't at all such a prick as Sataniswaf was. <laughs> 99 bottles standing on the wall. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, they seem to have a fun night. <laughs> I wonder if Victor's going to wake up. When he'll wake up. Well, hello, sleeping beauty. My head's about to explode. What the hell are we doing in front of my house? The front steps got the better of you. But, Victor, to hell with that. What a night we had. Admit it. If you're looking for fun, do it with Nyejits. Yeah, it seemed like they had a good well, night. Well, I admit, it was quite, quite... Quite schmite. It was spectacular. And we both know it. We'd better get away from here, if Ligia finds us. Ligia! And by what fault do your eyes burn red, hot, while your mouth is like honey? You trust over much in my virtue? I see you're looking after our good name, brother. Play Moberitzi. Actually, this is all his fault. What? My fault? That you couldn't get up three steps? You plied me with booze. I defended myself heroically, but sadly, I succumbed. Liga, my darling, he put up a valiant fight. But it's impossible to resist me. You're both utter idiots. <laughs> Fair. Can you make it home from here, or do you need a hand? But, but, those five rubles, remember? I remember. Five? What the hell do I owe you that much for? My dear friend, I can't answer that question in the company of a lady. Water whores aren't that expensive. You two got bilked. Victor, with each word, I find your sister more and more impressive. One way or another, I wouldn't like to have you as a creditor. Don't have any money. If I needed a loan, it was because I'm broke. Then go fish around at home. A gold watch if Satanisuavs would come in handy. He doesn't care anymore. Satanisuav? Here, from now on, you can cover your own tabs. Maybe you'll even start paying for your own telegrams. And now, 
Pardon me, but I have things to do in life. Once you've dragged yourself home, brother, I'd like a word with you. All right. Don't worry about it now. We'll have a chance to meet up. Next time, you're buying. Next time? <laughs> <laughs> so you think I'm done with you? One night like this is too little for us to be squared up. I know not why others stare, lest it's at our drinking fair. Well, that, <laughs> that went in I some very unexpected nice directions. Body. Perception weakened. Okay, we need to pay a visit to Rasputin. He'll sort out the uh, salutor we found. But we'll do that in the next episode. So I'll just uh, say thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that would be fantastic. As would leaving me a comment. Let me know what you think about this episode, about the game in general. Always happy to hear your thoughts. And if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it would be amazing if you could do that. So thanks very much. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.